Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about uh, update stock screen. Now, in this session, we'll discuss about how to update the stock, right? So here, in the last class, we have seen that uh, uh, automatically here we are generating the stock ID. I'll try to log in with admin and admin. Just will uh, I will show you the previous screen. So here you see, whenever you click on update stock, automatically the stock ID must be generated. When user selects the item type, then display all the item names belongs to pizza must be displayed here. And whenever user selects the uh, quantity and press tab button, then automatically it has to uh, bring the price of each pizza and calculate the total amount and display in TXT amount text box. Now when admin will click on update stock, first of all, it has to update the stock that is available in item table for that we need to write the code right so here i want to uh, perform two operations at a time so here yeah, just you see i will create the connection and open the connection and i will declare two queries string query one is equals to i want to write update query here so how to write update table name table name is items set uh, column name column name is quantity is equals to here we are entering the quantity in where single code double code plus txt quantity dot text and here i will write where um, item name is equals to single code double code plus cb item name dot text is it clear let us check that one once so here you see the update stock screen i will try to select the item burger veg burger 20 and when i click on update stock here you check the query update item set quantity is equals 20 where item name is equals to veg burger right so it will update the record in where in the uh, items table and in the same time i will declare one more query string q2 is equals to i want to insert the values in stock transaction table so i will write the insert query insert into so at the same time i want to insert the record in stock transaction table in stock transaction table first of all i have to insert the stock id the stock id is available in where uh, txt stock id dot text comma next i have to insert what i number i number is available in where uh, cb item name dot selected value is it clear single quotes double code plus cb item name dot selected value selected item means what veg pizza will come selected value means the id of veg pizza that is assume comma and i want to insert quantity quantity is available single code double code plus quantity is available in where uh, txt quantity txt quantity dot text i will explain you clearly what is the purpose of stock transaction table and later i want to and insert the amount so single code double code plus txt amount dot text and then I want to insert the current system date single code double code plus what is the current system date system dot date time dot now dot to string or two short date string means it will insert only date is it clear so two queries are there now I want to pass the query so here I will try to use SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command of by using SQL command class you can pass both the queries at a time so query by separating with semicolon here i'll give semicolon plus q2 so what is the meaning here query one string plus semicolon plus string that is string right q1 means first it will update the quantity in items table and q2 means and then it will insert the record in stock transaction table right so here uh, i want to execute the query cmd dot execute non query is it clear and uh, that's it i want to close the connection con dot close right let us go and check it out 
and I want to display one message saying that message box dot show off stock updated stock updated is it clear in the after completion of this project we'll do the same project in three tier architecture there again you can understand much more better manner so I will try to log in with admin and uh, here log in with password is admin click on sign in and here click on update stock and here I will select the burger veg burger 20 veg burgers are there click on update stock let us see some other came so here you need to pass the connection object right so comma con so here you can see after so here I will select the burger veg burger 20 veg burgers are there click on update stock stock is updated so go to your database and uh, check in items table it has to update the quantity execute quantity of veg burger is updated 20 and go to stock transaction table and it has to insert the details stock transaction table is generally used to do some uh, business transaction because in a daily admin will come to the shop and he will store the individual item details day to day stock details in that stock transaction table if you want to calculate some profits or how much business that has been done then this table is helpful for him so now whenever the salesperson is doing the sales at that moment he will uh, check the available quantity based on what items table i hope you understood right so in this manner you can work with update stock screen so here what is the role of the admin admin will log in and admin will add the item types admin will add items admin will add the salesperson admin will update the stock and admin can view the sales and logout logout will see later sorry view sales will see later and uh, here you can just go to uh, no, no. i think uh, we completed here the modules of what administrator now when i click on logout i want to close the current form that is this dot close and uh, i want to uh, navigate to admin login admin login a1 is equals to new admin login of a1 dot what show is it clear now i need to generate i, I need to, now we need to discuss about the salesperson module so here go to the project add windows form there i will try to create the login form for salesperson so here you can see salesperson login is it clear and click on what add button and here if you observe that this is your form after designing your form will look like this so after designing your salesperson login form will look like this so we already have one table called employee table because admin will add the salesperson and admin will give the username and password to salesperson anil and anil with that uh, username and password salesperson can log in so here we need to check whether the login user is valid or not for that i am writing the code here i will use stored procedures so first of all i will create a procedure in my database so here my procedure will look like this create procedure procedure name i am passing two parameters employee name and password here employee name is the username and here I written the query select start from employee where ename is equal to at the rate ename and password is equal to at the rate password press f5 now here I want to write the code to check whether the login user is valid or invalid right so here you see double click on the button and first step is create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure pass the values to the parameters and uh, why I am using execute trader means here uh, the, we are checking only single row value that the login user is valid or invalid so that is the reason I am using data reader if dr dot has rows then read the data and redirect to what salesperson home dot uh, salesperson home form else display the error message and similarly if you want to close the connection here you can use try block and you can keep the the entire code inside the try block and after this you open which block catch block and here you write exception e1 
right um, bracket open bracket close console dot write line of even dot message and here i will write the finally block mostly will try to close the connection where finally block for that uh, here we need to declare the connection string globally that is uh, because the scope of that uh, try is as a, it will work like local variable where it will work only within that particular try block so i will declare the connection string globally and here i will try to close the connection con dot what close off once here let us execute now actually in our project uh, initially i want to execute uh, sales person login form only because any project development uh, whenever you consider any project if it is a web application three types of users will be there one is admin other one is user another one is visitor the uh, admin will do some uh, operations user will do some other operations visitor can only just viewable purpose so always the project development will start from admin panel but uh, at the time of uh, hosting or um, we, we will set as user panel as a start form so here i will go to the program.cs go to so first of all i will double click on the link button and here i will create an uh, object for admin login a1 is equals to new admin login of and here a1 dot what show and here i will go to the solution explorer and uh, here i will double click on program dot cs and uh, here i will create an object for salesperson login means i am trying to set that form as start form so debug and once check the output by default salesperson login only will come because admin will not interact every day admin will because regularly who will interact with that with this application sales person only because admin will have lot of branches where he will travel from one branch to another branch only the sales person will uh, interact with this application so what is the username of the sales person i will try to log in here you can go to the employee table username is anil and password is anil so anil and anil click on sign in so it is going to the sales person home form and admin will work admin will do his job admin and uh, admin click on sign in that the story is sent. so in the next session we'll discuss about the role of what sales person that for any if you have any queries you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can post in the comments box and for more videos you can subscribe to the youtube channel as well as my facebook group thank you have a nice day.